Hi Stitchin, um, this is my first YouTube video. Um, I was inspired by quite a few of you. I've been watching your videos um, quite a lot, probably more than is healthy. Um, and a good friend of mine has talked me into doing this. I'm a little bit nervous, um, so we'll just have to, to see how things go. Hopefully things will improve. Um, yeah, a uh, couple that I've been watching that have I've sort of had a few conversations with um, Emily Chadwick and Stitcher Moose. Um, you guys have both sort of said, go ahead, do it, don't worry about being nervous, people will just um, go with it. Um, so I'm hoping that that's going to be the case. Um, I've been stitching for oh, about over 20 years now. Um, a lot of my stuff I do give away. Um, I have had a few of mine framed, um, but the majority I tend to do for gifts. I see things and it's, oh, I can do that for, for so-and-so, they'll, they'll like that. And for the most part, um, things are really well received. So, you know, I, I love stitching. It's, the, it's more the process. I think we all do, that's why we're here. Um, it's, the, it's the process more than the finished product, I guess, um, and what we're going to do with it. I am one of those people that doesn't tend to finish things off. Once they're done, once they're stitched, they get put away. Um, I've got a roll of finished projects that might one day get framed or have something done with them. There's only so much wall space you can have. Uh, the very first stitching that I ever did um, was on 27 count. And... I almost didn't make it through. Um, I had jumped from one side of the pattern to another and miscounted and done that half stitch in between. So I had to take out a lot. Um, I was only a teenager at the time, so yeah, it was something that I didn't really tend to shout about, but it was a, a project that I did for my best friend at the time. Um, so I don't have it um, with me anymore and at that point I hadn't thought about taking a photograph of the finished product. So I only have the picture of what it was. Um, so this was the very first design that I ever stitched. Um, it's called Life's a Song and it's by Janelin. Um, as I said on 27 count um, which was quite a challenge. It took me about a year to do. Um, obviously on and off um, within doing schoolwork and everything else. But that kind of, once I had finished it, that set me up for just really wanting to do more and more. Um, so then I started my cycle of more collecting stitching. Um, as well as doing a lot of stitching, but I tend to find that I have a huge stash. Um, it was obviously while I was teenage, um, and then once I started work and was still living at home and was able to spend a lot of my, you know, had all that money that you didn't have to be paying on bills and cars and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, I did collect quite a stash, um, a lot of which I still have now. Um, so I don't think I'm ever going to run out of things to stitch. Um, however, my first stitching that I got to keep and was framed is a Country Companions piece. Um, it's called Bang the Drum. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with this. It was one, I don't recall the amount of time that it actually took me to get stitched. Um, I usually, I write down a start date um, and a finish date um, just so that I can see roughly how long it took me I do have the stuff all written down somewhere um, so that was my very first piece I'm actually getting my husband to put them up on um, a wall in a temporary stitchy room at the moment um, just kind of our spare room this room actually um, and one day I will have a proper dedicated stitchy room um, 
but the only problem is I have to have my daughter move out first and she's only five. So <laughs> I have a little bit of time to wait. Um, once I'd done that Country Companions, I kind of got onto a roll and enjoyed the Country Companions. Um, so I got quite a few of those. Um, there is a lot of tweeding in with the hedgehog. I think there's about five or six different combinations to make up his prickles. Um, but I do think that the effect is worth it. It's Some of them have a lot, um, and some not so much. This one um, was my next one, called It's a Sports Car Next, and you can see that there's really not an awful lot of tweeding to be done. I did this one in about two weeks, um, because at the time I was confined to barracks at home. I had chicken pox. Um, so yeah, couldn't go anywhere, really do anything, so I spent a lot of that time stitching, which helped out. <sighs> then, after that one, I started tackled my next biggest piece, um, which was a sampler. Again, Country Companions. Um, so you've got Ed doing a handstand, and dressed in tartan. and holding up a banner licking the dough uh, fishing and on the phone um, with this one I actually did the border first um, which was quite a long task um, and obviously you can see the dates that it took me to do um, obviously a fairly short piece. I was um, working in the States at that point um, as an au pair so any time that I got free I generally stitched um, and it helped to sort of keep the homesickness away. So yeah, from that I then did another sampler. Can you see a theme yet? So yeah, evidently I went through a huge Country Companions phase. And samplers like this, I think, are really good. Obviously this one took me a little bit longer. Um, but I think at that point work had gotten in the way. I'd, I'd returned back to England um, and it yeah, didn't stitch quite so much because I was out doing other things. Um, but yeah, I, th I think I like the samplers in so much as like that style um, because it gives you a little mini finish each time but that was a long time ago um, tastes have changed but I think I will stitch all the Country Companions ones that I do have um, and if I don't my daughter will because she has no choice she will be a stitcher <laughs> sooner or later we'll get her okay the next one um, is a little design it's the first one that I actually framed myself. Um, so I really wasn't quite sure what I was doing. Um, but I think, sorry for the reflection, it's, um, I think it's come up fairly well. Um, I probably need to get a new frame for it. It's a little bit banged around. Um, but yeah, I think this one was called Surprise Surprise. Um, it was from a chart booklet rather than from a kit. Um, so by that point I still had some colours that had been left over from um, my previous Country Companions kits. Um, so that started the, the floss accumulation, um, which there'll be a story about that later. Um, then there was this one, which is an Oliver Otter design. Again, just a, a small design. I think I was going through wanting to do the smaller designs. Um, to get that, that quick finish. Um, but yes, evidently he caught the frog and I think that's where it can stay. I've had many a run in with the frog, which I think a lot of us have. Um, so I might just banish him. That was another one that I framed myself. Um, I think I got onto a bit of a roll with doing the smaller ones and wanting to frame them myself, obviously, to keep costs down. Um, 
and again it was when I was living at home so it was displayed straight away in my bedroom um, another country companions one I thought this was a bit cute. This one I started stitching while I was on the aeroplane to the States um, pre 9 11. Um, and yeah, it was really good at that point. I think it was about the first time that I had stitched out in public. Um, and I did get, you know, the people next to me wondering what I was doing and having a bit of a chat. And it's really nice to get that interest I think a lot of the time we're worried that you know we might get judged and you know you're doing an old lady's hobby and I think I've only ever had positive feedback um, besides that oh well I wouldn't have the you know the the patience to do that or you know I don't know how you spend that long people don't seem to realize how relaxing it is um, how nice it is to just sit there and if you've had a tough day just to let it all drain away um, and lose yourself in your stitching. I think the only time we find it frustrating, and I know I do, um, is if you've got a mistake in there and you can't find where it is. Um, but you know, it's not too often that that happens. Um, okay, the next one um, that I got framed um, was a piece that I did for myself and my husband. Um, yeah, it just seemed to fit. Obviously, we, we met online. Long story there, but um, yeah, this one sits in our dining room. Um, it was called Computer Wiz. Uh, I'm not sure how long this one took me to stitch, but um, yeah, I don't think it was overly long. And all this down here is in half stitch, so that made it go a little bit quicker. Um, next one is Winnie the Pooh. Couldn't resist that one. That one turned out fairly quick. Obviously Winnie the Pooh's a, a quick one to stitch, but um, at the time I hadn't realised that all of Tigger's stripes, um, for the most part, have got quarter and three quarter stitches on it. Um, Tigger it does happen to be my favourite character out of the Winnie the Pooh characters, but um, also the most frustrating to stitch. Um, I don't know whether I can see those in there, but yeah. Again, um, I did tend to, to buy up big with the Winnie the Pooh design, so I've got quite a lot of those um, that need to be done at some point. Um, my next one is a house mouse design, and it says there's no such thing as too much chocolate, which I think a lot of us can relate to. I love how he's sitting there with his mouth open with the hot fudge topping. Um, the mat actually came with the kit. Um, so this was just a frame from a Photoshop. Um, and yeah, just slotted it in so there's no lacing or anything else done on this one. Um, but I don't think it needs it. It's, um, yeah, it works really well. Okay, and my final one went a bit fancier with the frame this time, um, which is a Lizzie Kate design. Um, don't know how well that's going with the reflection. Um, you can touch the dust, but please don't write in it. Um, there's a little button in there too um, and this was the first time I was actually using any kind of hand dyed threads um, although the variation isn't huge in that um, but yeah I also have a lot of the Lizzie Kate designs I've done quite a few and actually given them away as gifts they're, they're ones that stitch up really really quickly and I think they look pretty effective Okay, the only other thing I can see right here um, is another one that I've done made into a coaster. I um, actually stitched that while I was in hospital. Um, 
after I'd had my gallbladder out, which is probably something you didn't need to know. Um, but yeah, the, um, there were other patients in there that were asking me what I was doing, um, and the nurses took an interest. So I think it's one of those things that people need to talk about a lot more. And I am really, really glad that YouTube has just exploded. Um, it wasn't really something that I had look, thought about looking for on YouTube, to be honest. And one of the ladies in a stitching group that I was on, that I am on, um, had posted a link to Mrs. Milky Bar Kids video on um, Heaven and Earth designs. Um, so I thought, yeah, I'll take a look, and it probably took a couple of weeks to get to it. Um, and once I'd watched it, I'd really enjoyed it, so I went back and started watching them from the beginning. Because um, I tend to like to do things in order. Um, and, yeah, from there, obviously, you get the recommendations down the side. And I started clicking on a few others, and before you know it, I'm watching them every night. Um, which in itself is probably not a bad thing because that means that I'm stitching every night because I tend to stitch whilst I'm watching the videos or watch the videos while I'm stitching, whichever way. Um, and yeah, it makes the, the night go um, probably too fast sometimes. I'm up longer than I should be. Um, the other thing that I've started doing lately is um, with a good, the good friend that suggested I do these. Um, we've actually started Skyping each other. Um, we're only sort of 30 minutes down the road from each other, but we tend to find that life gets in the way, kids get sick, we don't get a chance to catch up. So we've been sitting and stitching once a week um, for a couple of hours while Skyping, and it's probably one of the best things that I've done. Um, so I thoroughly recommend it. If, um, if you haven't got anybody to stitch with, um, maybe get on to, to Skype um, and yeah, if there's somebody that's not local, um, it's, it's really worth it. Okay, I think I've probably rambled enough. Um, no doubt I will be doing some more videos. I have a fair amount of work that I've done, excuse me, that hasn't been framed that I can show. Um, I've also got my whips and no doubt I will be getting to some of the tags um, that have been floating around, the Know Your Needle Worker tag, Tool Time, Stitchy Spot, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so thanks for sitting through this, and if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. Um, if there's anything that I'm not doing or doing that you can make suggestions on, then please do. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time.